Okay, so this is just a short video I'm going to make. I made to show the differences between the new experimental build that I got from the code shop and well, the current uh, Rails for the Win 1.93 build. So if you try to install, well, let, let, let's uh, let's say let's be let's be safe here. <laughs> Can't think of the proper term. Uh, you're gonna use the file check, uh, file check, file check some integrity verifier utility to verify if the the file we downloaded is correct. You know, we we got our MD5 checksums here. Uh, it should be easy. I've already downloaded FCIV. It's in the downloads and the rails for the win. A, that's the current build for the 93 so that's 877 yeah 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 you can probably look at it pause the screen and please X so 4c504 yeah just just the first few should be enough anyway so we verified that our installers are what I uploaded so let's see first the the what do you call this? Uh, let's change this to oh, so let's see the original, the non experimental, the stable build. What do you call it? stable build? Already set up the the exam to running, so we're going to go directly to testing. I think we could test. SQL Lite 2, but uh, I don't know. Let's just anyway, let's just go ahead and create our new application. So, yeah, we could make sure that we are using old Rails for the win. So, Rails new um, test uh, shut up VM. Uh, test and SQLite should create a SQLite bundle install. Rails new is pretty fast. Yeah, it's pretty fast, I guess. Well, nothing fancy about that. The bundle install is always, as we all know, it's always low. There's nothing new about that. So, so B0 CD test. go right. Um, rails, B scaffold, entry, type of. Uh, entry title don't need to create the text so here you can see how slow it is to create just the scaffolding yeah it's pretty slow make db migrate it's slow <coughs> Yes. Pardon my voice and pardon my coughing. <laughs> I'm still kind of sick right now. So, localhost, let's see first the environment. So, yeah, it's working properly. New entries. New entry. Uh, nothing new. It just works. Anyway. So let's create a new one. Rails new test. Like uh, old. Be my sequel. Going to do bundle install again. This shit is slow. Um, just yeah. That's just how it is with bundler. I I haven't 
bundled the bundle preview bundle preview because I don't know I don't think it's right to do that right now even with the experimental build so CD test CD old uh -huh. let's just do the same thing we did before So again, yeah, let's just go check. My sequel to and entries. Uh -huh. Bits. Uh, just nothing new. Just created and uh, well showed that Rails for the win comes with. A working installation of MySQL. So let's try the experimental build. First, let's uninstall the current Rails for the Win. Close this. Now to install the experimental. Snort. Though I don't think it's going to be that noticeable, but hey, let's see. So Ruby version, it's going to be the TCS patched version. Rails new Pascal. SQL new so it's a bit faster so you might notice there's no there's no what do you call this there's no delay between the rails new <coughs> and the alcohol generation the files so wait for the bundle to finish yes new rails uh, rails g scaffold and three um I so it's pretty fast it's not as fast as linux but it's a bit faster than before I'm gonna, I still have to double check after I record this to see how much improvement there is between the two versions but yeah here it is it's working it's not throwing an error or whatever destroy goody 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 and let's see the environment so yeah that was pretty fast compared to uh, the one before okay that's good so it is the moment of truth so we're going to create ns new the my sequel again it's pretty fast 
but again I'm going to have to double check once this video is finished I'm going to put it in the blog post uh, the time call this time it takes to finish the commands but again bundle 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 Lord, bundle screwing things up for everyone but it doesn't need to install anything it's everything is already there so yeah it's not gonna install anything it's just checking so let's do what we did three four seconds uh, No, it doesn't take a quite a bit of time. It runs quickly. Yeah, about as fast as Linux right now. <coughs> yeah, it's noticeably faster. MySQL and empty. this will be faster that's that and uh, let's just see how fast the real console starts up three four five oh, five seconds pretty fast anyway so that's our video uh, if you don't want to just simply download and see things for yourself that's how fast the experimental the code shop build is uh, so yeah and this is me signing off i guess